Hey guys, Mindful Burger here, and today's video is on the monotonous, tedious, tiresome tasks, repetitive mornings, day-to-day -day life, existence that you have. And I'm gonna, the point of me and this video is to try to make it a little bit more exciting, a little bit more mindful for you, and how mindfulness can actually enhance your whole life, and it's actually quite exciting. So, I mean, maybe potentially you haven't had these thoughts that your life is so monotonous in the morning, but I'm sure you still must be getting a little bit tired of doing the same thing over and over again, day after day after day. So you, you wake up, you have a shower, you brush your teeth, you comb your hair, you put clothes on, you go to the kitchen, you have a cup of coffee. Well, I don't because it's foul, but maybe I'll have a whiskey. Actually, that's, this is the morning, I won't have a whiskey. Uh, maybe you put a, bit on a, put on a bit of toast, have some cereal or something, and then you head to work. And then you repeat that the next day, and then the next day, and then the next day, and then that's the weekend, and then obviously on Monday you repeat it again, and again, and again. And it's just getting a little bit tiresome. But I get it, you know, you're getting ready for work, and you need to work in order to make a living, in order to look after yourself, look after your family, and to sort of have a roof over your head, and to have a sort of fairly good lifestyle, which you're doing. But does it need to be like that? You know, what if we could just, what if obviously with my help and we could spice up your life just a little bit and change the monotony of what you've been doing every single day? Just, I mean, for goodness sake, how have you been doing it? But just what if? Imagine, what if? Well, my friendly YouTube followers, watchers, who I'd really appreciate if you could please subscribe, like, and share the channel just so that I can get my message across to. Maybe more than 10 people, please. I mean, I'm sure a few more people are not watching, but please, I really want to make this as successful as possible. So, uh, yeah, please subscribe, like, share, and everything. And then I'll carry on with the video. By clicking on the obviously hilarious thumbnail that I created for this video, and then deciding to watch another Timmy the Mindful Baker's Mindful Motivation and Life Enhancing videos, you are in a whole world of luck because I am now going to tell you how to make your day that extra little bit more exciting. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Just by making a few minor changes to your routine, it will boost your mindful awareness of everything that is happening around you. Okay, you will become aware of these small changes because they are different to what you normally do. So straight away, you'll naturally start to observe your activities as, as, as a result you'll be waking your brain up in a different way and therefore gently nudging yourself out of your comfort zone and resultingly becoming more mindfully present. So I want you to try this tomorrow morning when you wake up. So when you get in the shower, and if you are one of the elite few people who watch my video on having a cold shower, then you will already be pretty well practiced on, on this little thing. But obviously if you weren't in the elite few, wait for it. So instead of running the shower before you get into it and waiting for the heat, the hot water to come through, I want you to stand underneath the head and then turn the shower on and just let the cold water swish all over you. Now, it will shock you and it will feel like it hurts, although it won't really hurt and it's only temporary, but it will invigorate you and burst you into an alert wake-up mode straight away. And that's good now. And that's really good, that's exactly what you want. And when the water warms up, and then you lather your body and shower gel stuff all over you, I want you to stand, not that you can see me do it, but I want you to stand on one foot, like the Karate Kid, but not quite like the Karate Kid, but stand on one foot. Standing. Now, just notice how much more present you are. Because it's obviously not easy, I'm gonna be watching, it's not easy to stand on one foot, utilizing your balance, Obviously you've been very dexterous here and rubbing with the cleaning abilities. Anyway, I'm really good at this. So it's just, anyway, I'm just saying it's not very easy doing that. And obviously your mental and mindful awareness are literally at their peak because of this dexterous little activity you're doing. Now, obviously I did it a little bit before, but put your foot back on the floor when, once you've finished scrubbing up. And then, this is the final bit before you get out of the shower, turn the water back down to cold for the final one minute and I promise you, it will just wake you up and you'll be ready just to get out and start the day. So how do you feel? You know, a little bit chilly, but vitalized, revitalized, just rah, you're feeling good. So now it's time to brush your teeth. Now, 
put some toothbrush on the head of your toothbrush, and then put the toothbrush in the opposite hand to the one you normally use. And now I want you just to start brushing your teeth with your, obviously your left hand or your right hand, whichever, if you're left or right-handed, I'm right-handed, so I'll be with my left hand. Now just mindfully brush your teeth, and this is not easy, I tell you, okay? And this, it's just about changing the routine, and it's about focusing your attention on this activity, which you've probably never done before, and suddenly you're just becoming mindful, mindfully aware of every single brush stroke you make. But just obviously be careful just not to jab the toothbrush into your gum, because that will hurt and it's just not a good way to start the day. But just be careful, be mindful, and just brush <laughs> with your left hand. So, how do you feel now? Once you've brushed your teeth with your left hand, you had a cold shower, I hope you're feeling much more present. I mean, I certainly would expect you would be. Okay, now's the next bit. I'm going to get dressed, and obviously, put some deodorant on. Do it with your opposite hand. Well, it's quite hard. I suppose you always do change hands when you do it. But anyway, whatever, just do things with different hands. And then put on some socks. Maybe put on a red sock and a blue sock. Just just uh, sort of flex it up a little bit, make it a little bit different. Or what you could do, it's a little bit weird, wear your other half's underwear. Obviously it could be a little bit weird if you get caught, if you're a man wearing a pair of women's knickers. A little bit weird, but it, it uh, could definitely be a very severe change to your daily routine and give you this mindful sort of way of looking at these things differently. But I'll leave it up to you. Obviously you don't have to, and don't blame me if you do get caught wearing your wife's so bra. Onwards from that. So with whatever clothing you decide to put on, head down to your kitchen, and then make whatever breakfast you normally have. Now, I will be doing some mindful breakfast recipes in the future, but for now, it's gonna be up to you to work out what you're gonna have for breakfast. You know, you could have some cereal, you could have some yogurt, you could even have some toast, or maybe do a fry up. It's up to you. When you get whatever you're having in front of you, like when you were brushing your teeth, I want you to use the opposite hand to what you normally use to eat it. So if you obviously normally eat cereal with your right hand, I want you to eat it with your left hand. Or if you normally eat, I don't know, a bit of toast with your right hand, eat it with your left hand. You might quite dexterous, might be able to do both. But the cereal thing, do it with the other hand. And it's just a really good way of just mindfully observing yourself as you're eating something in a completely different way. And I will obviously be doing some mindful eating videos at a later date, and that they are they're on a completely different level to this, but they're very, very good. But obviously, for now, you're just eating something with your left or your right hand, and observing yourself, and just noticing you're doing something very different to every other day, and you're making it a little bit more exciting. Now, once you've done that, you wash it up, maybe wash it up with your other hand, now you need to head to work. Now, there are ways of changing your journey to work, like cycling or running or walking or getting a bus when you normally get a train or just skipping like a little girl. But those things I would like you to create and think up yourself because I have no idea how you get to work. I'm just thinking of things to do before you get to work. Now, as a parting tip for what I've just done for you, I would like to suggest that you try to do a random act of kindness every single day with whatever you'd like to do. I'll give you a few tips, you know, and it just makes you feel just really so warm and happy and goodness. And it sort of boosts the awareness even more. So why, for example, why, for example, why don't you, for example, I don't know, open the door for someone or compliment a stranger on striking on, I don't know, um, they may be wearing a lovely hat, so compliment on that. Or you know, it's whatever striking feature you see them. They might be wearing some nice shoes. Compliment on that. Or maybe if you see a homeless person, go and buy them a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or something, or some soup, or a sandwich. And then make a cup of tea for a colleague. Or pick up some litter. And then, above all of that, just smile at everyone. Smile at everyone you meet. Like, like that. And smiling, just smiling and being kind. That's the way forward. So with all of these little tips I've given you, at the end of the day, you need to smile and be happy, but be mindful and just make your day just a little bit more sort of exciting, a little bit different. And I will see you for the next video, guys. Okay, bye-bye.